So my name is Claudia Tocho. I came from Argentina, from La Plata University. And I will talk about the opportunities uh, of interactions, interac more interaction between uh, Chigos and uh, South America to be in line with uh, global initiative in geodesy, in global geodesy. Uh, during the last year, I was a member of large of Chigos, uh, representing South America, and I, I learned a lot, but I have to learn more about Chigos. So this is the, the talk. I divided my presentation uh, first in giving a, a glimpse of uh, geodetic activities in South America. Then I will present the state uh, between the Chigos now and South America, and the interaction, the actual the interaction we are uh, taking now, and the future perspectives that uh, we have, and I hope you can help me to, to improve this interaction. Well, I can't... Uh, I can talk about geodetic activities in South America without mentioning the Sirius project. It's a project that has started in 1993. And if I read the, the terms of reference of Sirius, the last term of approving uh, 2022, I think, or 20, 2020, uh, the objectives was to establish is to establish and maintain a continental geocentric reference plane, a network of stations with coordinates, geocentric coordinates, and the variation over the time, and a accordance to the International Geodesy, uh, the Association of the, Inter the International Association of Geodesy, to define, uh, put in effect and maintain a unified vertical reference system by means of physical and geometric haze that are consistent at the global level in accordance with the recommendation of the IEC and also for SHIGOS because SHIGOS has a focus area in unified vertical regions. The other thing that this CIRGAS is one of the objectives is to update the gravimetric GOI model uh, for continental coverage in accordance to the recommendations also with the IEC. And the second is to, the, the fourth is to maintain or establish and maintain a continental absolute gravity uh, stations network in accordance with the recommendations of the IEC. Uh, Sirgas has different names during the, its history. Uh, first, it was called Geodetic Reference System for South America between 1993 and 2001. And then it changed the name to the Geocentric Reference Systems for the Americas, where we, the inclusion of the North uh, American countries were included. Mexico, uh, United States, and Canada since 2001-2020, and then it changed the name to Geodetic Reference System for the Americas since 2022-20. You can find uh, a nice paper written for Herman in 2022 because he is one of the people who promote this project uh, very much. Uh, if we see the structure of CIRGAS, now you, uh, we will see that CIRGAS is supported by the IEC, especially for the Commission's 1.3 uh, reference frames in South and Central America and Subcommission 2.5, the gravity and shoy for South America. I think uh, we have to take care of more commissions, all the complete commission two, for example, uh, because they, they are some aspects that has to be included. Uh, also, CIRGAS 
is uh, supported by the uh, showing working group of Americas, a, a genetic uh, showing work, uh, a working group called uh, Genetic uh, Reference Framework for the Americas, GGFI. And this is a, a working group for the United States GGIM America, which is a group, uh, if we uh, think in the last talk, uh, to, to take care about the resolution of the United Nations in, 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 in 2015. And also CIRGAS is uh, supported by the uh, uh, Pan American Institute of uh, Geography and History. If we see the structure, we have in the director council one member of the IEG, the member until this year was Herman, now will be Ezekiel. Uh, and we have two, uh, um, three working groups, uh, one in uh, genetic, the, the, first share, uh, the reference systems. Uh, the second is uh, called the Syria's national level. And the third uh, group is uh, in charge of the vertical data and the vertical data unification. But uh, I think that a uh, reference frame is not geodesy. Mm -hmm. Geodesy is more than reference frames. But so when I see the, 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 the last survey that we carry out, some of you have seen it, we see that we have, I was very surprised when I saw that the 15% of South American people answer the uh, survey. I was really very surprised and I was very happy because I tried to, uh, to send to, to all the people involved in Geodesy to, to answer the, the survey. And when I saw the survey, I asked me uh, two questions. How is the situation regarding geodetic infrastructure in South America relating to the IEG international services? And the other is relating related with the products, products available. Uh, now I will show you the infrastructure, but I prefer to leave the maps in the, glo the global maps, not only for South America. Uh, I will explain this. From the satellite laser ranger stations, we will see that we have four stations, as far as I know, and someone of you can correct me, the San Juan station is not working by the moment, but we have uh, three uh, stations in South America. Uh, with the BLBI stations, we have two, and there's another project, a Chinese uh, Argentine, uh, if, if the project is called CART. It is, ne, it is called Chinese Argentine Radio uh, Telescope. Uh, it will be in San Juan. Uh, and now they are uh, um, putting the, the, installing the, the antenna. Mm. Uh, with the Doris stations, we have very, uh, we have few stations in South America. Uh, you see the, the, the situation of the Doris stations. Well, we have the GNS stations uh, in South America. See, uh, this is the Sirgas stations uh, that I told before. Uh, the Sirgas reference network. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
you, you hear the Ezekiel talk yesterday, and we have only one uh, superconducting gravimeter, which was moved from Concepcion, Chile, uh, to La Plata, no mm -hmm. hago. Y uh, about terrestrial gravity meter, we have uh, in in hago uh, and superconducting gravimeter and uh, uh, absolute gravimetry, so we can uh, use the, the FG5 to calibrate the superconducting gravimetry. And also this uh, gravimeter was used to some project, uh, some uh, geodynamic project in the South Patagonia uh, during the last years. And there was another gravimeter, an I-10, that is, was used to measure different national networks in South America. Uh, also, the IGN, the, the National Institute, Geographic Institute of Argentina, is now being um, is buying an in, in I-10 I gravimeter, so we can take care of our own in the future, we can take care of our own uh, gravity measurements. Well, uh, of course, we have a core site. Hmm? This is new. Uh, it was installed at the end of uh, 1915, uh, beginning of 1916. It is called the Argentinian Sherman Geodetic Observatory, AGO. It's a joint convention be between uh, BKG and our National Research Council. We have a BLBI, a satellite laser range, a GPS, a, a laboratory of gravimetry where we have the superconducting and the uh, absolute gravimeter. Mm -hmm. And we have complementary like like uh, atomic clocks, seismometer, meteorological uh, sensors, and some projects with the uh, GFZ about hydrological uh, sensors. Uh, AGO, uh, during the last years, have produced data uh, in not, it is not operating the laser, but uh, uh, with uh, the, the IGN, our uh, National Institute of uh, Argentina, we, the AGO is um, organizing a center of analysis of satellite laser radio, so when it, it came operable, uh, they are training the paper. Uh, also, I told that the gravimeter went for a geodynamic project in South America and for hydrologic uh, project with GFS. Uh, bueno, the other uh, questions uh, must be about the geodetic product available. So, uh, I see that, um, of course, uh, these data uh, contribute with products to the geodetic themes, and as uh, she goes called them, contribution to the international uh, reference system, contribution to the celestial uh, reference frame, to the determination of the Earth's parameters, and uh, contribution to the international height reference system. But here, we have a lot of problems. We have a lot of things to to analyze, to, to reformulate about how we can uh, contribute to the international height reference system uh, frame. And also, with our uh, superconducting and absolute gravimeter, uh, we have uh, put Chago as a one of the candidates to integrate the 
of the internet to contribute to be a station of the international terrestrial gravity uh, reference plane. Mm -hmm. uh, the international terrestrial gravity system was approved in the last IG meeting in Berlin. Uh, about some other geodetic products in South America, we have weekly positions of the Sirgas Cone stations, Sirgas multi years uh, solution, the, the velocity models for Sirgas, and we also have some other products like tropospheric zenith pass delays with a how hourly sample rate which are processed in a center called CIMA, which is in Mendoza in Argentina, and in La Plata in another laboratory called Magia. The, they are some geodetic products available about integrated water vapor anthroposphere semi-total delay uh, for climate studies and an operational monitor system for the total electronic content in the ionosphere. Uh, these geodetic products are available, but no, they are not uh, centralized. Well, what I have learned, or what we can see about the, uh, the, the global geodetic infrastructure, which is if you remember the, the talk of Laura yesterday about the strategic priorities of Shigos, uh, this was this one, this one, uh, in order to identify gaps and modernize and maintenance. So our strength is that uh, we have geodetic uh, networks, e ago as a she goes core site, but the, weaken, the weaknesses is difficult to maintain due to economical reasons. Only one core station, if we have to identify the gaps, uh, our clear gaps in South America. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of points in Europe, but very few in South America. And the other strategic a point in the in the priorities of SHIGOS is the standardization, integration, and optimization, you know, interaction with all the EIG components. Uh, I think strength, and what I always recommend, is to participate in the IG working groups or uh, in the focus areas of SHIGOS. Uh, for example, uh, to learn uh, about the implementation of the international hate reference systems, or during the last years I participate, I am participating in the establishment in the International Gravity Reference Group. Mm -hmm. And our weakness, I mentioned what it was clear with the IGRF uh, example because we, ha we have a, uh, different solutions we came from. Uh, and the other thing is about the geodetic information and expertise, the, uh, which is other uh, strategic uh, priority of SHIGOS. We have a the, the, the weakness we have in, in South America is very ter uh, heterogeneous knowledge and experience, especially in physical geodesy, language. We speak most of the countries speak language, uh, speak Spanish, but we have problems to read expression. Not, uh, uh, not all the countries can access to open pap to papers, for example. Yeah, so we need a, a training programs, capacity, capacity building, and then a strong cooperation between SHIGOS and South American countries. Support programs to visit the students and researchers of South American centers of expertise, schools, workshops, and scientific meetings. Uh, and to finish, uh, 
when I talk with uh, with products, uh, I always ask me products for what and for whom. Uh, I think the Shigos program, which is updated uh, between several years, it needs a strong cooperation of other geophysicists, geologists, oceanographers, hydrologists, meteorologists, astronomers, uh, for the interpretation of modeling the geodetic data. Uh, for example, in South America, we have a, a, it's an area with very uh, uh, with a lot of uh, earthquakes, very of high magnitude. So I think we have to uh, try to join uh, with the Latin American uh, and Caribbean Seismological Commission, for example, from the another uh, institution. Uh, uh, from the International Association uh, of Seismology of Physical Earth Interior, uh, because we have a strong seismic, seismic activity due to the subduction plate of the Nazca plate between the uh, South American plate. And we have a, a strong, uh, the, the, all the earthquakes uh, are near the, the subduction zone or intercontinent in the inter um, crust or so we have a, or others are produced by tsunamis uh, warning systems no uh, for example one product that could connect also with the as uh, the yes Bay is for example the gravity inversion the, the gravity inversion to map in Moho, for example, the discontinuity between the, the uh, crust and, and mantle from a uh, Gose data or uh, the use of Gose uh, gravity gradients to uh, lithospheric models. Also, uh, South America is the country, is the continent with the most large fresh water in the world. So all the products uh, from grays or satellite altimetry can, me me can give an idea of the total water storage uh, in the in the, these large bear basins like Amazon or La Plata Basin. So we, to study draws and flows, these are products that we can use. Um, uh, and also uh, to study the temporal gravity variation in, in glaciers, uh, like uh, using satellite gravity altimetry. We have projects uh, uh, in the glaciers in the Patagonia ice field. Uh, also, to finish, we have uh, along the volcanoes, uh, along the Andes, a lot of volcanoes. So I was strange when I found I found these days a showing intercommission between the Apse and Aishi in volcano geodesy. So I start to talk about volcano geodesy, a hydrological geodesy, environment geodesy. So we can, uh, and also I can show the the maps, the stations of the um, uh, geomagnetics observatories, because uh, these observatories can be used for space weather research, for example. Uh, so to finish, to the future perspectives is to involve with the SHIGO science panel, or I suppose to the science panel, but yesterday I heard the science panel and no, uh, with SHIGO to, to, to uh, improve uh, this uh, integration uh, to understand 
the, of the society science deficiencies and needs to enroll all the geodetic community with global geodetic, uh, geodesy, cooperation with other geoscientists, and generation of interdisciplinary uh, products, e, and training young scientists in South America. So my question is still how hmm, I can do that. Uh, perhaps you, you can help me. Thank you. Thank you, Claudia. Uh, are there questions or comments? I, I will have uh, a couple of questions, but I would prefer to leave this, these comments for tomorrow. Ah, here is one question. Because tomorrow we will have a discussion session, and we, w we have to discuss tomorrow. In the last slide, you talk about the science panel. And I wonder how the science panel could help, uh, no? I was reading the, the science panel and I thought uh, it can help me because I saw the objectives of the science panel and I th so, uh, thought uh, and until the, uh, and uh, up to yesterday when I hear the science panel talk uh, but in my last version I remove it <laughs> but it was uh, uh, it is not my last version but I <laughs> I understand that not but I think uh, I, when I saw the South uh, the Science Panel, I also saw nothing, nobody for South America. 